video. Hello everyone. Welcome to another Halcon video. I hope you enjoy the content I have put together. To help me out, click the subscription button to be notified of more content in the future. Remember to also hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or found my content helpful. Also, I have a Twitch channel and you can also reach me on Twitter. Okay, let's do this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another tutorial. Today, we are going to cover how to add mods to Project Zomboid. Project Zomboid was released on November 8th, 2013 by the developers at the Indie Stone software company. At the time of the creation of this video, the game is almost 10 years old. The challenge of this game, along with the game's replayability and modding community, makes this one of the most enjoyable games I have ever played. Today, we are going to focus on how to install mods for Project Zomboid using Steam for the PC and also to mod a hosted server. First, we'll cover installing mods using Steam for the PC. All you need to do is log into Steam and navigate to your library. Locate Project Zomboid in your library and click on the Workshop tab. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click the See All option. Click on any mods you want to add to your PC install and select subscribe. The selected mods will show up to be selected in your game. Before we take a look at that, here's pro tip number one. Read the description of your selected mods and see if there are any other required mods that your selected mods need to work. When you first load the game, you will see a mods option near the bottom of the list. If you click this, you will see a list of all the mods you are subscribed to. To enable and disable the mods, just click the Enable Disable button to the right of the mod. The enabled mods on this screen will be pre-selected for any new solo games you create. As we create a new solo game, you can see the selected mods from the mod screen are pre-selected for this game instance. If you choose to only enable mods for the game instance as it is being created, you would leave all of the mods disabled and then create a solo run. After selecting solo for your game option near the bottom of the left hand side, you will see choose mods option. Click this, then enable the mods you want to use for the game you are currently creating. When you navigate back to the new game screen, you will see your selected mods on the bottom left hand corner. You are all set to go. To add or change mods for an existing save game, choose the game you want to mod and select the more option in the bottom right. On the next screen, select choose mods, then enable disable mods as desired. Pro tip number two, when adding mods to an existing game, Make sure you do a bit of reading in the description to make sure the mods are going to be compatible with the pre-existing game. Now for server-side modding, we will be using Bisect Hosting. I use Bisect Hosting for my server needs, so I'll use their server for my template on how to mod a server. If you use a different service, the server structure may be different than what you see here. To enable stream mods on a hosted server, you need the following things. You need to make sure the server is stopped, the mod's workshop ID and mod ID, both found in the bottom of the description, like this. And you will need the project INI file. Locate the workshop ID and mod ID and record that information. I typically copy and paste from the mod I want into Notepad. Next, navigate to the project INI file. The server path for my server is home, container, dot cache, then server. From here, I open the file to edit. And I modify these two lines, mods equals mod options and workshop items. To add mods, you will need to list the stream mod IDs on the mods equals mod options line separated by semicolons like this. 
You will also need to add the mod IDs on the workshop items line separated by semicolons like this. And that's it. Save the file, start the server, and you're good to go. As I stated before, if you are using a different hosting service, your experience may be different. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those below. Just a quick reminder, sub to the channel if you'd like to see more content. Also, if this tutorial was helpful, hit the like button. Your support is highly appreciated. Thanks for watching and have a great week.